to make this video with you because I'm going to be sharing two recipes for the most amazing snacks. I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite chocolate bars. And if you've seen my Instagram stories, you know what I'm talking about, and that is the they sent me a care package a while back and I just fell in love with all of their flavors. So today, I'm working together with them to bring you these two amazing recipes. Let's get started. I'm too excited. I can't wait. So let's do this. Usually, before going to bed, I just have like, this craving for something sweet. I thought it would be a great idea to do a little healthy chocolate bar that I could keep on my fridge and just get my chocolate fix for the night and yeah, just go to sleep happy. So I'm going to be using the salted coffee by Theo and here are the other ingredients. Of course you can always use whatever you have in your pantry or if you prefer any other ingredients Go ahead. I usually just get these on the book section and I just have them there ready for whatever baking or snacking adventure I just want to do that day. So I, I have these and I will be using them but again you can just use whatever you guys prefer or have in your pantry. First we're going to melt our chocolate bars and I'm going to use three. We're going to melt these however you guys want to do it. I'm going to do it on the microwave. I'm gonna do 30 second intervals and see how that works. Let me show you how it looks. And it doesn't look completely smooth. I think it's because of the coffee. Next step is going to be you can set it aside. That makes it easier for it to stay flat on the baking sheet. Okay, we're going to put in um, the melted chocolate. We're going to smooth it out with our spatula. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Toffee pieces with the salt, with the pecans. <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna die. So good. So good. Make our second snack, which is going to be chocolate covered banana popsicles. Let me show you what I'm using. But you can again use whatever you have. For this popsicle, I'm going to be using these uh, popsicle sticks that I have that you can use just some popsicle sticks or whatever you can think of. So again, we're going to start with the melting of the chocolate and we're going to use the same method. I'm going to be using the Leo um, chocolate bars with sea salt for this. Whatever way you prefer, so that you get kind of like this 
runny texture so that it's easier to spread around. the bananas are nice and frozen. Okay, it's been like an hour or an hour and a half since I put them in the freezer. Let me show you. Aren't they so pretty? Let me give you like a better view of them. Okay, so here's a better view. And as you can see, they're all hardened up. Oops. And the peanut butter ones, I feel like the peanut butter is a little sticky still. I don't know if that will go away, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. This is like the funnest part of like the whole video. Okay. Mm. You guys, I took a little bite and I was able to get like a little bit of banana and the chocolate. I love the combination really good okay you guys so these are the two snacks I hope you like this video and remember I have the recipes that I use on my blog if you want to check it out Theo chocolate means the best chocolate if you haven't tried it um, I know these are at Whole Foods and a bunch of other um, stores so make sure to check that out and you can also buy it online. Please uh, share your creations with me. And yeah, so now I'm going to turn on the TV and enjoy this little snack. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!